Hello and welcome to the second lecture of the Advanced Calculus course. Uh, in the previous lecture, we have learned the concept of mathematical induction and the completeness of R with the concept of infimum and supremum and the proof that the, the set of all natural numbers is unbounded, so the unboundedness of natural numbers. And in the today's lecture, we will learn the concept of convergence in a rigorous and mathematical way. And we will try to, uh, and we will study the few characteristics of convergence. And if time allows, we will prove that a increase, increasing sequence that is bounded actually converges. So, to begin with, Let's start with the definition of, uh, of convergence of a series. Now let's think of a sequence of real numbers. This is a notation for sequence where the each term of the sequence is denoted by a n, a sub n. And for, for a real sequence a n and a real number a, uh, what we mean by the sequence a n converges to the real number a. What do we mean by this? This means that for all, actually for any uh, positive number epsilon, this is the fifth letter of the um, of the Greek alphabet. For any uh, positive number epsilon. Ultimately, a, the difference of a n and the real number a is less than or equal to epsilon. This is the definition of, of convergence we will use throughout this course and in advanced calculus and further analysis. Now, what do we mean by ultimately? Ultimately, is, a, is an expression that we use to deal with infinity in a finite sense. So, in, uh, so the phrase ultimately means that there exists a natural number, big N, such that for all natural numbers greater than the number, so after the number, the terms in our sequence will be close to a by an dis, uh, a distance epsilon. So let's try to visualize this. So let's say there's a real line. And here's our uh, real number a. And we set an epsilon. We set an ar arbitrary epsilon that we uh, this is the distance we are setting. So this point will be a minus epsilon. So this width of the band will be epsilon. And there's a plus epsilon. So there's a subset of real numbers. And, and for all elements in this set, it will be close to a by a distance that is smaller than epsilon. And what do we uh, what we mean by this is that if the uh, uh, if the terms in our sequence goes like a one, a two, a three, a four, and it approaches a like this, then from some point, let's say a four here, and after that point, all of the numbers, all of the terms in our sequence fall into this subset. So we could we could find a natural number n such that after the number, so infin infinitely many for infinitely many numbers, our statement holds. This is what we mean by ultimately. And what we uh, what I meant by uh, dealing with infinity in a finite sense is that this means that we only have finite number of terms in the sequence that it, that has a uh, distance greater than epsilon. 
So we could define infinite in the uh, terms of finite, finiteness. And the important part is that we have set this relation for any arbitrary epsilon. So we could make epsilon smaller, let's say, Let's say this is our new epsilon. Uh, let me just draw the line again. So we could set a epsilon as small as we want. So let's say epsilon is this small. But still, infinitely many numbers in the terms of the sequence will fall into this subset. And we could, we could approach we can make this term terms in the sequence to approach to a as much as we want. So this is the concept of convergence, and we will. This is the uh, definition of convergence we will use in throughout this course. And although at first it may seem quite difficult, uh, as you practice with the with this concept more and more, uh, you'll get used to it. So now. Under this definition, let's examine some more characteristics of convergence. Now, uh, let us erase the definition of convergence. And the first characteristics we'll deal with is that if ultimately A n, the term in the sequence, uh, for sequence A n, if ultimately the terms in the sequence become A, then A n converges to A. This is the first characteristic we'll prove. But the statement, the proof of this statement, statement is really easy. So how do we, def uh, how do we Define ultimate, uh, ultimately, and convergence. Let's check. So, so let's try to prove this statement. Uh, this is our assumption. Ultimately, these terms in the sequence is equals a. What does this mean? There exists a natural number such that. For all natural numbers greater than the number, so after that, after the number, we have a n equals a. But then, since a n equals a, the difference, the distance between a n and a, this is zero, and this will be smaller than any positive number epsilon. You could assign me any positive number, but it will still be greater than zero because it is positive. So this statement exactly is the statement. So we are we have proven the first characteristic. So if ultimately the terms in the sequence equal to equal to a constant a, then the sequence will converge to that constant a. Okay. Now, the second characteristic. Uh, if a n converges to a, then the set of the terms in the sequence is bounded. Now, remember the concept of bounded. So if this has a upper bound and a, a lower bound, then the set will be bounded. So if it is bounded above and below. Uh, but since a n converges to a, there exists a natural number such, such that such that that's a natural number 
for all natural numbers after the number we have we could make the distance between the constant a and the terms in the sequence to be less than any positive number any positive number epsilon so let's say in this case we will use the positive number one so in this case epsilon is one so then what we know is that for all natural numbers n that is greater than n we have a n greater than or equal to a minus 1 and less uh, less than well not equal to uh, greater than a minus 1 and less than a plus 1 so let's say a is a minimum of the set a1 a2 to a big N and a minus 1 and B to equal the maximum of these numbers a plus 1 then for for all n for an all natural number n a n will be greater than or equal to a and less than or equal to b this is obvious because for numbers less than or equal to n we have defined a so that it will be less than or equal to a n and for for n that is greater than n uh, we have this term in a so that this relation this relationship could imply this inequality and it is the same for b so there's an lower bound and upper bound for all terms in the sequence so the set of the terms in the sequence is bounded okay and the third characteristic and that would be if an converges to a and bn converges to b these are two different real sequences and uh, and ultimately an is less than or equal to bn then their conversion values will uh, will maintain that inequality relationship so this will be the third characteristic so how do you prove it we will prove it by contradiction so let us assume that a is greater than b then a, uh, a minus b divided by 2 this will be a positive number 2 right so we will choose this as the epsilon we will use and what epsilon is this um, since the these two relationship hold by the definition of convergence there exist natural numbers n1 and n2 such that a n is close to a by a distance less than the our epsilon this epsilon is the uh, number the uh, the half of the half of the difference between a and b and for uh, after n1 and b, since bn converges to b there is this, there exists this natural number n2 such that this relationship holds and then think about this natural number n the sum of 
the two natural numbers that appear in this relationship in these relationships then we could easily check that n is greater than n1 and also simultaneously greater than n2 so for this n the following relationship would both hold correct then there's the there's the problem so 2 epsilon what is that that is the difference between a and b by the definition of epsilon we are using for this problem and this is equal to oh uh, oh wait not equal to but uh, less than or equal to a n minus a minus b n minus b because ultimately the inequality a n is less than or equal less than or equal to b n holds and by the tri triangle inequality so u plus v is less than the absolute value of u plus v is always less than or equal to the absolute value of u plus absolute value of v. This is the triangle inequality, and by the triangle inequality, this is less than or equal to a n minus a plus b n minus b. And by the by the definition of convergence, this is less than. 2 epsilon. This is less than epsilon and this is less than epsilon. So 2 epsilon is less than 2 epsilon. That's a contradiction. So again, our in initial assumption was wrong. What was our initial assumption? That A is greater than B. So since this is wrong, we get our conclusion. So the third part is proven. Okay, and let's go on to the fourth characteristic. Oops, I erased the important part. Then A is less than or equal to B. The fourth one would be that if a n converges to A and ultimately A n is less than or equal to B then A is less than or equal to B so for this one uh, I'll uh, leave it as an exercise it is not really um, the proof is not really difficult, so you could try using the methods and logics we have used for uh, the previous previous characteristics of convergence we have proven. So, so let's just go on to the fifth one, which will be as we don't have much time, which which will be the final characteristic we will prove in this lecture. This is that if a sequence converges, then it converges to a unique value. So this is an important characteristic of convergence. And how will we prove it? We will prove it in the same method we have used for the proof of uniqueness of minimum and infimum. So let's say that A n converges to A and it converges to a real number B. What we will prove is that A equals to B. So if if there are two values that the sequence converges to, then
then the two values must be equal. So the converging value is unique. So this will ha and this is how we will prove this final uh, this important characteristic of convergence. And how do we do that? Let's think of a sequence Bn such that it is a equal it is the same sequence as An. Then Bn converges to B because An converges to B. And then since we have this equation for all natural number n. We have the following, following the following relationship. The following inequality is also true, and is always less than or equal to b n because it is equal to b n. Then, by the characteristic by the characteristic of convergence three, what we get is a is less than or equal to b. But the same thing holds in the reverse way too. Bn is greater than or equal. Uh, oh, 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 sorry. This is just a repetition of the same thing. Since An is equal to Bn, it is also greater than or equal to Bn as well. And again, by the third characteristic, what we get is A is greater than or equal to B. And by these two relationships, we get A equals B as desired. So, if a n converges, then it converges to a unique value. We have proven this. And then, since if, it, if, it, if the sequence converges, it converges to a uh, unique value, we could think of a notation for the value it converges. And we'll use the following notation for it. Limit n equals to infinity, a n is a. Uh, it is really fami familiar from your calculus or other courses, right? So since since a uh, since if a n converges, then it converges to a unique value. If we denote the converging value is this. It will be well defined, and uh, it will just signal a single value a. So what this means is that the sequence a n converges to a. So this will be our notation for the rest of the course. And now, uh, interestingly, you have un uh, if you have understood this lecture, you have understood the. Uh, the rigorous definition of limit. Well, not exactly limit, but in a uh, restricted sense. Uh, before you would have uh, uh, you would have not understood the exact meaning of this notation, but now since we know the exact definition of, of convergence and we have proven the characteristics of convergence from its definition, we know the exact meaning of this notation. So in the next lecture, we'll try to finish some more characteristics, uh, finish the proofs for some more characteristics of convergence, and prove more interesting theorems about, about convergence. So this, this is the end of the third lecture of Advanced Calculus course. Thank you. See you at the next lecture.